Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun. I was actually recording another episode, but I'm enjoying this a lot. But I really actually really need to go. <laughs> I have supper to go to. But I do have a little bit of time I can squeeze in here. So I figured I'd do one more episode because I'm enjoying this a lot. Uh, welcome back to Golden Sun! Last time we defeated the thieves and we got uh, Ivan's rod back. He told us he was going to head to Wampa. Whereas Master is supposedly probably been kidnapped and might be being held for a ransom. This music is super cheery for uh, what I'm told is a thief town. So let's talk to these guards, see what they say. What's with you? You want to enter Wampa? Well, you can't. Go back to where you came from. What if I say no? All the way for nothing? That doesn't make any sense. That was no place for people like you. Go back to where you came from. You're from Calais, are you? Yes. You're here to save Hammond, are you? Yes. We'll return Hammond to Calais very soon. Just wait a little longer. That's what Dodolpa told us to say. Uh, how very ominous. What if I say no? The last group said the same thing, but we didn't trust them either. Leave now if you don't want to get hurt the last group. Sounds like maybe Satoru's amenity again. Uh, what about this cave? It's a very suspicious looking cave. West Lumpa Cave. Got some water we can't seem to interact with. Some more water and this closed gate. At least it looks closed. Let's so hit this button. I just flip the switch, which closed, which actually closes it. So there's a bunch of water down there. So even though you might think, and we can't open it again, you might think like, oh, so we gotta do something with that water. There's actually nothing we could do here. So uh, we will return here at another point in time. I actually have a story about this cave, a weird one that kind of scared me as a kid. But uh, more than that, later, I really hope I remember that. <laughs> That's something I could definitely see myself forgetting. So I even know her in sight, which is kind of scary, because that might, you might have been kidnapped as well. Uh, let's see where else we could head. We were told to head east till we could find the Goma Range. I'm actually trying to find uh, your friends, Vermin. I need this one more enemy here that we actually saw earlier from the Dijin tutorial. We haven't seen since, and he is a normal spawning enemy. Oh, they're all defending. Yeah, Vermin have a large chance to uh, defend, which is a pain in the booty hole. Also, we should maybe sleep at the end one, end one more time, although we might be able to make do. I hope. <laughs> Alright, we're actually going to start cutting here until we hit uh, the final enemy of Channel 4. So let's just head east and see where that brings us. Alright, first battle cut out. First little babe cut out. Uh, just keep going west, east here. This, I believe, will lead us back to... Yeah, see, if we just head west from here, we'll see the path will bring us to Vault. So let's keep heading east, and hopefully run the hit the- Gare is now level 4! Master of the Guard's Fire! Uh, HP up by 8, PP 3, Attack 3, Defense 2, Agility 4, 8 coins. There's a bunch of vermin, man! So much vermin! So many vermins around here! Alright, well, we're gonna keep traveling around here till we hit the enemy, the one single enemy we haven't battled yet. Oh, there's slimes here too! Really? What the heck? Did I not- did I mention the slimes? Oh no, the slimes. I don't have the slimes written down. Okay, interestingly enough, the slimes are actually the only enemies past Soul Sanctum that actually don't get stat changes. It's really weird, but hey. Oh, we haven't- you know what we should be doing? We should actually be normal attack and see if we got on the leash. And we saw fire now. Attack with Scorching Fireball. So let's see what that looks like. Rapid Smash! Wow, perfect! That's what that does. Just a little additional effect there. All those weird hive slimes and all dead. There we go. Hey, I'm gonna keep looking for this final enemy before we actually enter that cave there. I wonder if there's anything down here. Looks like there's, this might just be a dead end, actually. Yep, it sure is. <laughs> this is like a forest here originally. Maybe they burnt it down. Not burnt it down, but use it for lumber. These battles, they activate so fast. It's not like a Pokemon battle where like it gives me a chance to cut, so it's like hard to not talk in between when the battle starts to when it actually jumps into it. That's actually something this game does very well now I'm playing it. It's not like a Pokemon counter where it takes forever to show you what you're fighting. It's just like very snap and then you're in the battle. Alright, I'm gonna... There we go, actually! Awesome, finally! So, zombie! Jeez, it took forever to find this butthole. Uh, he's level 4, uh, he has 55 HP, and he drops uh, 7 experience points and 8 golds. Uh, he has a 6.25% chance to drop an herb. And also, now that we're actually in a forest right now, uh, you'll see we got a different background, which is really cool, nice little attention to detail there, and you'll see we're actually on top of the trees right here, so that's what that is about. Goma Cave Entrance. So that's not what it looked like on the minimap. It's a very pretty spot with a stone down here. No way! So that sound you heard was actually the Jin recovering. You do not get recovery... Your Jin do not recover in a town or any safe spots, but you won't fight enemies. However, this is a safe spot and there are no enemies here. Once you walk around, I believe our PP will recover as well. 
Yeah, wait, did it? No, I don't think it did go up. I just I just want to see if that'll work for Garrett here. It did! Interesting, that's one of the very rare spots in the game you can do that then, where you can just run around freely and get a free refresh if you so wish. So push that down. And uh there's a bunch of stuff going on here. It's a very pretty waterfall. Also one of the very few rare spots where you can uh still hear the world map music playing, even though we're in like a little area here. You just move on that log statue thing. I was like, why would those be statues? They have to be like logs or something, right? I don't know, this is a weird spot for the logs or statues to be. Um, if you run up here, I don't think Catch will do anything. Nope. However, those bushes are pretty mysterious. Normally, you can tell if you can interact with something is if you use synergy. Well, there we go. So if you just move on that, however, you can't move it because it's cut down by a bunch of ivy. Normally, if something stays colored, like the ivy there, for example, you can't do anything. Or you can interact with it. It's no use. Our synergy isn't strong enough to free that stump. Oh no, defeated by some plants! Curses foiled again! I wanna move that stump, right? <gasps> Ivan! It looks like it's trapped in the ivy. Is there anything we could do? I don't know, is there? You tell me, Ivan. I know! I know! <laughs> I know! I have a great idea. Leave it to me. Whirlwind. So finally, we get to see what Whirlwind does. It clears Ivy. Sounds like a very useless thing to do, but it actually comes in helpful quite a, comes in help quite a bit. All right, Ivan. I did it. So happy. Thanks for the help. But why are you here, Ivan? I couldn't get into Lampa. Don't get me wrong, I didn't come here to ask for your help. So, I wonder where he was then when we couldn't get into Wampa. Your quest has been on my mind ever since I left Vault, which wasn't that long ago, but, you know. Remember? I read everything that happened in your minds. I know what that looks like to Ivan. I couldn't just leave, not with all these terrible things happening. If I can't rescue Master Hammett, then I want to help you. Please allow me to join your quest. <laughs> no, just like the Jin. I haven't joined your party! There he goes! Now he permanently joins our party, which is awesome. I shouldn't get to Bilbin through this cave? Then let's go! Alright! Giggity giggity! There's, okay, we don't have my needs still set. I was curious if that still stays set there. So now we can actually push it! Push it to the limit! Boop, 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 boop. Yay! Awesome. And we can also use Whirlwind on this. That's a nice little tutorial. Very quick. Push you right on through to go on to the next place. And without further ado, head into our first cave. Goma Cave. Awesome Opossum. Sorry, I was flipping through notes. So, I actually haven't done any of this stuff in my practice file, but that being said, I don't think there's anything to really worry about. Uh, ghost up here, skeleton up here. That being said, I still have all the stuff marked in my notes. I've marked every single enemy in this game in my notes. I have like 30 to 40 pages of it. Um, Alright, let's uh... Oh, we should actually check our weapons. We might be able to give a Sonic Blade, Bandit's Blade to Ivan. If that we could do that, that'd be awesome. Alright, so uh, starting with the... Wait, what? Hold on a second here. Alright, one checking my notes and finding out I didn't have everything as concise as I thought I did. Uh, we're back. Okay, so this ghost he is level 5, has 56 HP, he drops 9 gold, 9 experience. They have a 6.25% chance to drop an oil drop. Uh, rump, he could use Rumble, which does a bit of an additional damage. He can use it in pair, which is interesting, because actually that will lower uh, attack, oh, lowers defense, sorry, of me, of any of my. Whatever one they decide to use it on. They can only use it on one person per time, though, so that's okay. And he's dead. Uh, the skeleton is level 5. He has 60 hit points, 11 gold, 11 uh, experience. He also can use Bone Charge, which does an additional extra bit of damage. Has a 6.25% chance of dropping an herb. There we go. So before we go any farther here, let's quickly check if we could give this to Ivan. We can! It does better damage, so we'll use that. And then we could re-equip this sword, and yeah, I probably won't want to do that. Actually, I'm really curious what happens if you try to attack without a sword and what your sprite looks like. Let's try that out next time, shall we? Let's see what happens. So we just want to equip this as a Shaman's Rod. Uh, 
like a detail. Oh, it just it says uh, equips of um, uh, effects of equipment was ten attack. So uh, it's already been outclassed. <laughs> it is very important story wise. Maybe one day we will find out why. So if this stupid thing wasn't here, we'd be able to immediately exit Goma Cave. But I guess earthquakes do that sometimes. They ruin your day. So I'm the ghost in the skeleton. So in addition to these guys, you can also find, once I get a second to check my notes here, uh, let's just cross those out real quick so I remember. Um, in addition to new enemies that we'll find, which we'll go over as we find them, uh, there's bats here, there's zombies here, and there's one more new enemy, well technically two, but one's a special, there we go, another drop, nice. So like I said, I don't typically use these drop items, although it might be pretty useful early in the game. Um, with, with having low PP points and all that. Uh, two zombies. I'm gonna have to learn. <laughs> it is very hard when uh, you get like interrupted in the middle of a fight. But later on in the game, you do get stuff that allows you to get uh, in the battles less, less frequently, so maybe I'll yeah, we'll use those once we get to that and you get to see all the enemies. However, I don't feel like we get into enough battles where it's really that obnoxious, to be honest. So we shall see. I don't. These aren't as uh, annoying as I remember them being. What all? What all do we got going on here? Oh, I see a little bit of a tip of the treasure chest over there. South, another skelly bro. This is especially hard since you don't like. There's been a lot of guys we haven't fought before. Oh, there we go. Rapid smash. Rapid smash with six damage. That's it. Oh crap! I want to attack with Isaac. Yes, he isn't holding anything. He just he's still his hands are still on a sword motion though. <laughs> See what that looks like. So we had to jump down out of there. What about over here? Oh, there's just some Wilhead. This is actually the other unique enemy you can find here. The HUD 1 and 2. So the Fling Skellington heads. The level 5 uh, have 54 hit points, 9 experience, and 10 gold each. 3.125 smoke bomb percent chance of dropping. They have Mystic Flame. Not gonna lie, don't remember what that does. Uh, might just do additional damage. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's attack, because I really want to see what that looks like, and you're going to need a lot of help. Oh, I was really hoping you use reference. Wow, still kind of looks like he's attacking with a sword, doesn't it? Mr. Clay, there you go. What does that do? So he's damage. Okay, so those additional damage. See, normally, you want to have stuff like that listed. Um, it means... Okay, good, he's not dead. Okay, good, he's dead. <laughs> oh, man. Normally, if I don't have it listed out what it does, normally this means it does additional damage. However, I no longer trust my notes, <laughs> so we'll have to see. Uh, Isaac level, level, level 5, Squire, uh, match my HP by 7, PP by 3, attack by 4, defense by 2, agility by 4. 20 coins, I believe it said. Uh, let's equip this sword again, because I really need to do that. There's a lot of extra stuff. Um, oh, hello! Did you see something over there? Something strange over there! I fought it, but it fled. When I returned, I saw it again. I wonder if it likes this place. Interesting. What is that, you might be wondering? Well, you definitely want to do this before moving on, because if you don't, you are going to have a bad time. So you see there's a little crevice in the ground there. Oh man, once again, if I wasn't in the middle of saying a sentence there, I would have stopped talking and just did this off screen. Um, so there's a little crevice in the ground there. These are actually very important. If we were to move that stone or log that we're pushing on right now, anywhere in the room, level 5 wins here. Match ranks P by 7, P by 3, attack by 4, defense by 2, agility by 4, 20 coins. Oil drop again, wow, a lot of oil drops. See that little crevice right there? If we were to move this, let's say we left this log here and left the room and came back, it would be reset. However, when we put it in uh, the, the slanted, the little crevice, you'll see it pop down probably, yep. So that means it's locked there and puzzle solved, just like how in Zelda, wherever you um, put a block in the right place and it locks in and it's there forever. So generally, like I said, battles, you're normally fine with just attack, especially if only one enemy. Your stats are going to do enough. So I'm going to set my Jin here so I have additional attack power. Right down here. Alright, we got to start cutting here. <laughs> if I wasn't sinking, that's going to happen so often, isn't it? And let's quickly dash through this. Slime already had wow, I did not expect that. So do you gotta watch our synergy use here. Synergy is something you are very often in danger of running low on. See Garrett's already past halfway, Ivan is at halfway. There's a level 5 guard. HP uh, goes up by 8, PP by 3, attack by 3, defense by 1, agility by 3, you got 20 coins, you got an herb as well. I don't think, okay I was gonna say, I don't think you get healed back or anything uh, once you level up and it doesn't appear you do. Instead of using cure, we're actually going to use herbs here to heal up everyone. Probably didn't need to do that yet, just in case. A lot of water in this cave, isn't there? 
Alright, we're gonna start cutting out battles now. Alright, okay, hopefully... Hopefully we don't get caught in the middle of a sentence here. Alright, we're back! Alright, there's a stone block here. Alright, alright. So, as I collect everything in towns, I'm also gonna try my absolute best to get everything in the cave. I haven't done this cave all, like uh, my practice file, so there is a small chance I can miss something. I really don't think so, this, though. This first dungeon's pretty straightforward. Push this down here. You'll be wondering, why did we do that? Well, when you go down the stairs there, you will see why. I was using Garrett's, but I really shouldn't, because he's using synergy. As you can see, he's down to two or six synergy points. Oh, dear me! And we're back! Alright, let's get our first church chest on a dungeon. <gasps> a lucky medal. These are actually very good, and you're going to want to collect a lot of those. Why? Well, just trust me. Just trust me for Pete's sake. Alright, so if we head back down here, maybe wondering what, what was the point of this room? Well, that little block we just pushed down, we can now use it to uh, access here. Wow, this dungeon is actually a lot shorter than we're being. I think we're actually close to the end already. Oh! Oh! Alright, we're back again! So, uh, a great idea to do, although it's not super important for this one, is you're gonna want to save before you fight any of these guys. Um, specifically in a dungeon, because what's gonna happen here is we're gonna try- th that guy down there was a tutorial to essentially tell us we're gonna be fighting this guy. This one isn't as important. You see his little animation there. So little Marjini appears. Um, Ginny being the singular form of a Jin, by the way. You see, you catch that. Oh yeah, see when you run out of PP. Well, you can still use it, however you'll fail at using it, so don't do that. <laughs> yeah, let's see some ready here, shall we? Hopefully we're gonna have this event. Oh yeah, I guess we should go over what this guy does. So this Jin's... Well, we'll go over what his name is yet, since we'll find out naturally. But he has Flare. Uh, which he'll use there. Uh, Blast was does a bunch of damage. And Flee. He, he has, these guys have the ability to flee. And once they flee, you can't immediately find them again. You have to leave the room and come back. I think we should... Well, well, well... Let's use a little break. You are completely out of synergy, which kind of really sucks. Uh, I guess now would be a good time to go over um, how the exclamation mark point works here. So you'll see that Marjorie takes 37 damage. One exclamation mark. That means normal damage. Uh, that also means normal damage. If Garrett were to use a fire move on this Marjini, since they're of the same class... Oh wow, he's actually almost dead. He felt Marjini. Okay, well never mind. <laughs> Not that it matters anyways, since we can't use any fire because Garrett's out of synergy points. Playing experience, 85 coins. Um, he was also level 5 and had 172 hit points. Cool animation here, very different from when we got Flint. Marjini Forge joined Garrett. You got it? Wow, it's pretty impressive. Keep your eyes peeled for others like it. Hi, mystery man! So, uh, yeah. That guy actually really did a number on us, didn't he? Yeah, if you were to flee, uh, you would have seen the same thing result here. Like, he would be gone from here. However, all you need to do is exit the room and come back. Sounds simple enough for, like, every Jin. However, there's a lot of Jins you gotta complete a puzzle in a room to be able to access it. So let's take a look at him. He boosts attack when you use him. Uh, effective unleashing battle boosts a party's attack with Flame's Fury. So you'll see his uh, HP will go up by 90. Uh, attack by 40, or by 2, 2, 4, or 244, agility by 2, and, uh, luck by 2. So I said that really confusingly. Um, now if we were to give this to someone like, uh, Ivan... Oh, it's not gonna tell me the synergy he gets, is it? There we go, so we'll see now how Slash, however, turning it off would give him more win. Uh, do I wanna do that, though? There's actually a lot of different methods to do here. So if we were to give him this, and then go to set it, you'd see he has Bold Growth. Um, generally... It mixes synergy, so he has Bolt, which I guess is supposed to be a mixture of Earth and uh, his Wind synergy. However, for now, I want to keep everything relatively simple and keep Fire Gin and uh, on Fire add-ups and Earth Gin on Earth add-ups, just because that boosts their base of stats better than anyone else when you give them to who they're supposed to go to. And uh, yes, so you guys slowly we're gaining his synergy points back. Is there any enemies we missed in here? I don't think there is. Okay, there isn't. Good. So, you'll see you actually just activate another shortcut. So, this is the blind slide we saw earlier, and dang it, Skellington! That's okay, we control forage here. Let's see what cool little animation we'll get. Oops, oh no, we wanna make sure we do that. Flint, gold, okay, good. See that triple exclamation mark there? That means that's uh, double damage. And also, if, like, let's say Garrett would have used fire on that Marjini, you would just see a period after it. Pretty much just saying that it's not effective, it does half damage. The attacks. Uh, 
Isaac's attack goes up by 12, Garrett's by 11, I Ivan by 7, so you'll see an increased attack by quite a, a nice amount, to be honest. There we go. So there's a landslide. So essentially, we just create a shortcut that'll stay there forever. And we could head out here. Let's see where this takes us. Spoiler alerts, we are near the end of the dungeon. Wow, I can't believe we did this in one episode. That's crazy. I remember that being much longer than it is. And there we go! So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Next next episode, we, we explore Billabin and this weird looking... What even is that? I don't know. It's a tree, but it almost looks like a man? Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Alright, I'll talk to you guys next time. Goodbye!